Hello chaps and welcome back to Tino Car Care where I'll be showing you how to dry your car. This is step 5 of how to wash a car series where you'll learn how to wash a car like a professional. So we have just completed the hand wash and then rinsed off all of the shampoo meaning that the car is clean and ready to be dried. Now there are many ways to dry the car. One way to do this is with water. Yes you heard me right, all you need is a slow stream of water. This is a pretty cool party trick which you can show your friends. However, it is not the most efficient way to dry the car as it is slow and does not completely remove the water. So let's move on to a better method, air drying. This involves using an air blower to remove all of the water from the car, starting from the roof and working your way down the car and getting all of the cracks and crevices along the way too. This is an excellent method as it is touchless, meaning you cannot inflict any damage or swell marks. The problem with using water or air is that the car needs a good ceramic protection, as if the car is not hydrophobic then these methods will not work well. If you would still like to use these methods then I would highly recommend using Latino ceramic snow foam before drying your car. All you need to do is spray it onto the car and rinse it off, giving you up to two months of ceramic protection, making the car extremely easy to dry. The next method, which I believe is the best, is by using a high quality drying towel. This works well whether the car has protection or not. Furthermore, the drying towel will clean any spots which you have missed during the washing stages. So what makes a high quality drying towel? First of all, it needs to be extremely absorbent and hold a lot of water. One towel needs to be enough to dry an entire car without leaving any water behind. Secondly, it needs to be soft, plush and able to glide on a paintwork in order not to damage the surface. And lastly, it needs to have the perfect weight as if it is too light or thin, it will not hold enough water while if it is too heavy, then it will scrape along the paintwork. If you'd like a drying towel with all of these qualities, then look no further than a Tino drying towel. So let's learn how to properly use it. Firstly, ensure that it is clean and then give it a quick flip to ensure it is dust free. Next, I would recommend drying the windshield or any other piece of glass first in order to make the towel slightly wet which primes it to use on the paintwork. As you can see, you do not need to apply pressure onto the car, just pull it across the upper surfaces in a vertical direction. For the sides of the car, you hold one corner of the towel higher up and lightly wipe the car with your other hand. Once I finish drying the car, I like to then use a air blower to remove the water from the cracks and crevices. This avoids those annoying post car wash leaks. If you do not have an air blower, you can use the old school method of blowing it out yourself. Just take a deep breath and blow into these areas which typically contain trapped water. Just be careful you don't pass out like this rooster. If any water remains, it can be dried off either with the drying towel or an exterior cloth, primed with some exterior detailer. Chaps, you are now Tino approved and a pro at drying the car, which is step 5 of our how to wash a car series. Click here for the next step, click here and watch the whole series and become a pro at washing your car.